Hey guys, what is up? Awesome the sauce here. Hope you guys are having a great day. And today I wanted to talk about something that I just don't think a lot of people even know about. It's about the Community Spiral Cup that Wizard 101 is hosting. And honestly, the deadlines for a lot of the stuff that's coming up, I want to talk about it, weigh in on it, get y'all to talk about it. Basically, right? They announced this on KI Live, their IO play series. Basically, what they're doing for to celebrate the, the upcoming birthday of Wizard 101, which is 14 years now, and Pirate 101 which is 10 years they're giving away 24 years worth of one month memberships and they're trying to give it to the community in the form of a spiral cup now this, this is essentially supposed to be a way for communities to i guess compete and they also added an extra incentive which is the fact that they're gonna create a trophy and a mount that actually has input from the community that wins. I don't know, like, like a community happens to win, they can maybe theme a mount. Maybe they can like get a trophy that's customized to them in the game. It also seems like they have different like criteria that they're gonna be like, you know, basing these prizes off of. They seem to be very vague with this, but it seems like there's gonna be a housing challenge. There's gonna be a PVP challenge, which that I'm very excited to see what they're gonna do with that. There's also a speed running challenge and there's also supposed to be an item collection challenge which i can only assume is like reagents but i don't know what that's about now each team needs 10 people to join it could be through a guild but they also said that it could be through discord it could be through just a content creator community like your boy which i don't know i might look into this but i do think this reflects a big shift from king's isle in terms of involvement in the community like this is something that i never expected them to do or expected to see and also i will give them props for this it does seem to keep like some level of accessibility in mind if you can assemble a group of any form right if you if you uh, whether it's discord whether it's through the game whether you know it's through anything really if you are able to do that it seems like there's a place for everyone and every strength i mean th there's a housing community section there's a pvp speed run it does seem to be something where creating some sort of well-rounded team could actually help you win a lot of free memberships for your team here's a couple of things that i actually really really like about this one they said that they basically will only have one challenge where the actual size of the community that's competing will be an advantage. I assume that's item collection. Could be wrong on this. I don't know what that has. So, I mean, basically, if you have the minimum, it might not actually be a disadvantage. That's an important thing. And two, it's allowed for people to compete in without membership. It can be totally free. And for each of these challenges, the first place wins 15 one-month memberships. Second place wins nine one-month memberships. Third gets seven and fourth gets five. They're giving away 24 years worth of one-month membership. I'm, I am surprised that we know so much less about this than I feel like they could have already told us. And I also feel like they have not really been pushing this on their socials at all. I feel like a lot of people, if they do know about it, it's because they were watching a random live stream, right? I mean, I feel like they should have done more to like, I don't know, like they should have been in the launcher, I think. Unless I'm missing something, I did not see it in the launcher. I also did not really, I've not been seeing them tweet about it, which I feel like is their next biggest platform. I definitely think when they come up with ideas to involve the community and, and, and actually like in incentivize you to engage with a lot of people through the game i feel like they should do a better job about pushing it that's just my thing but on the topic of the actual event i really really hope this does well there are some things that i'm very critical of and i do want to air that out on this video and that's basically why i make this video because i think they they do they do listen to feedback on stuff like this one I feel like, yes, yes, the birthday, the Wizard World, World birthday is coming up. It's September, great, whatever. I feel like this would have been way better to do during the summer. I feel like if you wanted to get a lot of people involved, if you wanted to build a hype around it, if you wanted to, you know, make sure that a lot of people are more available, as in before school starts, before college starts, they could have done a much, much better job on the timing part of this. I think that's a really, really, like, this could be a big miss, and they don't have the data to know whether it's because of the actual concept or because of the timing i think timing is very important i think this type of thing you're gonna either want to do it around the holidays like as in like you know thanksgiving christmas ish or you want to do it like around the summer i feel like I, I i don't know what they're thinking with this specific decision so now in my in my head i'm thinking is it an advantage to be able to log in every day for some of these challenges is it going to be an advantage to like only you know is it going to be an advantage to like just be available like, like how does that work with people's real life schedule and i think the other thing thing is that right now there seems to be a lot of talk in the community about the accessibility of raids because of the fact that it's hard to make a guild you need 12 people online to do it i will say this i think it's a little bit
bit better because right now you don't actually need 12 people online at the same time you just need 12 people that are you only need 10 first off but you you don't they don't need to be online at the same time and i think that is nice because like like i, I think it's a lot easier to just you know ask people as you see them over a larger period of time to maybe make a team for this it's a little bit easier than making a guild at least but i do think that you know this is, it is a part of this increasingly loud conversation is the game when it's at, when it's making all these group activities you know consequential is this game going too far with that and should there be more done for just individual players i think that's a very interesting one because i think the social fabric of the game is very important i feel like that's actually probably what breeds life into the game for me for the most part so i'm always gonna like events and activities and uh like you know anything really any features in the game that they're like yo like hang out with people do stuff with them but at the same time we're talking about 24 years of one month membership so we're talking about people who've played for a dozen years now. Are events like this leaving people like that out? And I think that's a question with big investments like this that Wiz does. They got to be asking that as well. I will say this. I think there's been a recent shift. And time will tell whether this is going to be effective or not. But I, I will rate the effort. You feel me? I think there's been a recent shift in their marketing. I've seen a new trailer on their Steam page. I've seen them literally actually make TikToks. I don't know. I haven't really watched them, but they're doing it. And now they're actually hosting events that can involve people that just want an extra thing to do, especially during a time where there aren't normally that many updates and whiz. They're being bold, they're being ambitious. I just hope that they're doing it as effectively as they could so they can do it better and better each time that they do it. I'm really curious, have you guys, have any of y'all like actually already like, you know, like entered into this? Like, how was that process? And do you guys think that King's Isle should do more of this? I personally would love to see just membership giveaways from King's Isle to free players just like this, except maybe not require a group and maybe do it at a, at a time where people are more available, do it more frequently. I think that type of stuff would be incredibly good for the game. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited to see the Spiral Cup? Do you guys think they should do something special in terms of covering it? How do you think they should handle it? Let me know in the comments. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave us a review. And as always, if somebody has not told you you're awesome today, they doing something wrong. So stay awesome and yeah, yeah.